So much so that according to Sunan Abu Dawud, when Muhammad went to a madras of the Jews, he asked for the Torah and showed it enough respect that he placed it on a pillow and he says, I believe in thee and in the one who revealed thee. Well, I think uh, some Samun do not just speak, okay? He lays down facts. And this book is also an authentic book in Islam. If the Torah was corrupt, how could he bear witness to a corrupt scripture? Oh, that's a great question. Beloved, once again, I greet you and I welcome you to Lawson Media. You know for sure that whenever I get in my seat here, it's about we dismantling those several assertions, assertions that have been made against Christianity since time immemorial. Beloved, uh, you know for sure that we are on the debate that went on between uh, Sam Shamoon and Dr. Shabir Alai. Oh, we get to me. He's, a, he's an Islamic sc uh, scholar and surely he's defending Islam a lot. You get that Dr. Uh, Shabir Ali has been debating a lot of people, a lot of Christian apologists and all that, but uh, I don't think he's debated Christian Prince. Okay, I think Christian Prince threw a challenge to him and he said that he had wanted for them to be engaged in a debate uh, with a topic, no topic. You get that? So it was going to be a scholarly debate and... Uh, uh, surely scholars do not uh, study, they, they have everything in mind and they just, they are working uh, knowledge, you get that. So he had wanted to get uh, such form of debate with Dr. Dr. Shabir Ali and we are yet to hear the response from Dr. Shabir Ali. Well, uh, Sam Shamoon is also very good, he's a Christian apologist and surely he defends Christianity and when it comes to uh, Islam, he's studied well the Quran and also Islam. Thus, he debates Muslims, several lot of Muslims and all that on his show. And Dr. Shabir Ali, I think they had this debate and I've forgotten the actual place where they had this debate. Well, surely it was about the Bible and the Quran. I think they were talking of the authenticity, the authenticness of the Bible and also the Quran. How people say or how Muslims sometimes frame the Bible, they put it fancy, it is corrupt or something like that. And they say the Quran has been preserved since time immemorial and there are eight, nothing like variation of text in the Arabic text of the Quran. But is this really true? This isn't true. Sam Shamoon has helped us in the first section, second section, and also the third section. And we are on the fourth section right now. Shall we take a quick break and return to this? <music> Beloved, um, you welcome back. Uh, greetings to you, um, Mr. Peter Polly, Mr. Paul, Mr. P Peter Polly, and also um, Uncle Sam and uh, Mom Esther. And name that is Samia Samwa. Um, Mom, now may God richly bless you all for helping us in sharing this program. Help us with your likes, your comments, and your. Uh, subscriptions and, and your shares as well, beloved. Mr. Daniel Dam, Kwasin Shen of Palermo, Church of Christ, Italy. Mr. Williams, a pastor of Palermo, Church of Christ, Italy. Greetings to you all. Uh, quickly, beloved, shall we uh, head on to uh, Sam Shamoon? We are reacting to uh, the debate, the debate that went on between he and uh, Dr. Shabir Alai, and uh, we are on the portion of Sam Shamoon. Surely he has helped us a lot with a lot of information and he's disproving the Islamic popular argument in regards to the gospel or the Injil, uh, the Quran stipulates. Muslims go like uh, the, the Quran said uh, Injil, that is gospel and not gospel. Fancy it is referring to the Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, these gospel accounts. But he disproved this ideology and he was like, since 
the term Injil isn't having an Arabic root or isn't Arabic originally, and it was it's a Syriac term. Seriously, he took us to the second century AD, and we ascertained for sure that the Syri the Christians are uh, used to be calling the, both the, all the uh, four gospel accounts uh, gospel, and never uh, did they ever reference them as gospels, but rather gospel. Thus, it's the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John the Quran is making reference of or reference to. Quickly, shall we go to uh, Sam Shamoon? When we go to the Islamic traditions, what was Muhammad's view of the scriptures available in his time? Yes, I think that will help a lot. What does the tradition say Muhammad said or, uh, or knew about the gospel? Let me quote The Life of Muhammad by Ibn Iskak, page 268. Rafi bin Haritha and Salam bin Mishkam and Malik bin Al Sayyif and Rafi bin Huraymullah. Excuse me, I have a hard time speaking English, let alone Arabic, so I do apologize. Came to him, the Prophet of Islam, and said, Do you not allege that you follow the religion of Abraham and believe in the Torah which we have and testify that it is the truth from God? He replied, Certainly. Well, that's awesome. So it really means that uh, during the time of the advent of uh, Muhammad, okay, during the advent of uh, Muhammad, I think some Samun helped with uh, a, a, a tradition, okay, a tradition, and this tradition read, um, or is it that is um, Ibn Shak, page two hundred sixty-eight, Ibn Shak, page two hundred sixty-eight. Though he read, but I think I have to repeat it. He said, Rafi bin Haritha and Salam bin Mishkam and Malik bin Al Saif and Rafi bin Huraymila came to me, came to him, the prophet of Islam, and said, Do you not uh, allege that uh, you follow the religion of Abraham and believe in the Torah which we have and testify? that it's the truth from God? He, that is Muhammad, replied, certainly, you get that, so according to this tradition, um, when Muhammad was confronted by these uh, Christians, okay, or by these believers of the Bible, and uh, they asked him, do you not claim that you believe you have great faith in the Bible? And he says, certainly. Surely, I believe in the Bible. That's exactly what Muhammad said. You get that? That's exactly what he said. He said, surely, certainly, I believe in the Bible. So, if the Bible was corrupted, okay, if it was corrupted during the time of Muhammad, seriously, Muhammad wouldn't have said that he had, he had uh, what is it, a belief, great belief in the Bible. Thus, uh, the Bible wasn't corrupted during the time of the inscription of the Quran. You get that the Bible was intact. The gospel accounts were intact. Therefore, where did you get that ideology from? That the Bible is corrupted and blah, blah, blah. All, all because those stuff that you, you are set in your Quran are not found in the Bible. Well, quickly, Samsamun, what next? He doesn't say, wait, wait, wait. Part of it is from Allah. You have embellished the rest of it. He says, certainly what you have is the Torah from God. Yes, that is true. Muhammad didn't wait. Okay, he didn't wait and and, and told them that uh, what is it? Uh, I, I told them that I believe in some portions of the Bible. I believe in some portions, uh, or I believe some parts came from Allah, but I do not believe in the entire uh, Bible. You get that? So, uh, according to uh, Sam Shamoon, Muhammad said that surely, certainly, he had belief in the Bible. This is a debate that went on between him and Dr. Shabur, Shabur Alai. You get that Muhammad actually affirmed that he had great belief in the Bible. Okay, his belief in the Bible is certain. And thus, he never argued during his time. Okay, he told his contemporary Christians that surely he had a great belief in the Bible. Thus, it was never corrupted. It was never, uh, it had never been tampered with. Well, what next, Shamsa Moon? So much so that according to Sunan Abu Dawud, when Muhammad went to a madras of the Jews, 
He asked for the Torah and showed it enough respect that he placed it on a pillow and he says, I believe in thee and in the one who revealed thee. Well, I think uh, Samson do not just speak, okay? He lays down facts. And this book is also an authentic book in Islam. Sunan Abu Dawood. Sunan Abu Dawood. Uh, when Muhammad sent to Al Midras of the Jews, the, uh, he, that is Muhammad, um, as for the Torah and showed it enough respect that he placed it on the pillow on a pillow and said I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee you get that so according to Sunan Abu Dawood according to this authentic book in Islam and according to Samsamun surely Muhammad took the Bible and placed it on a pillow Okay, and said, you, oh, Bible, 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 I believe in you. And I believe in the one that sent you. You get that? So, Muhammad, I think he would be singing with this. I believe in you, and I believe in the one that sent you. I believe in you, and I believe in the one that sent you. So, that is a Sunday school. You get that? So, uh, Muhammad actually says that he believed in the Bible. What next? This is a great proof. If the Torah was corrupt, how could he bear witness to a corrupt scripture? Oh, that's a great question. That's a great question. If it was indeed corrupt, how could he, that is Muhammad, bear witness to a corrupt scripture? This doesn't make sense. Samsamun, what next? I'd like the answer for that one. There's more to come in the rebuttal period. Okay, I think, and I believe so, I think surely we're going to react also on that portion as well. So because when we are, when we are done with this, we're going to get, get into that of Dr. Shabbat Alai as well. I'll be we getting with me. We don't want to be partial over here. So after reacting on the portion or the section of uh, Sam Shamoon, we're actually going to react also on the section of Dr. Shabir Alai, and we're going to be fair and sincere over here. Well, yes, there's, there's more... Go more to come in the rebuttal uh, period. What next? Now, what about Shabir's methodology against the Bible? That the Bible has variant readings and transcriptional errors and alleged discrepancies. Okay, so Dr. Shabir lies methodology against the Bible, okay, is that the Bible has variant readings and transcriptural errors and alleged discrepancies. Okay, so what about that one? That's exactly what... Uh, some Shamoon is asking, okay, meaning uh, Dr. Shabir Alai has several, uh, what is it, ag ag arguments against the Bible, and most Muslims do say this. They say that the Bible has variant readings and all that, so they just, uh, what is it, tag of the Bible with versions and all that, so they, they, they go by the idea that the Bible is, uh, isn't one, okay, there is the uh, New King James Version of the Bible, Old King James Version of the Bible, NKJV, what is it, um, NIV and uh, NASV, blah, 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 okay, a good news version of the Bible and all that, so this says all these do mean that the Bible is corrupt or something like that, or it has variant readings, but this isn't true. We are actually talking about a book that is the Quran, which is not having a single manuscript. Okay, the Quran that is not having a single uh, original text. You understand? And even those that are, uh, those stuff that are within the, even you don't have an original document of the Quran. You don't have it. What about the Bible? Version doesn't imply any different thing. I'll be getting because it's about we um, giving an English version of, of, of the Greek uh, New Testament, English version of the, of the Old Testament Hebrew. Oh, we get to him. So, this, the, the, what actually you read in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew language, or in the in the in the Hebrew grammar, or may have what actually you read in the Greek is what has been translated into English. So, it is the same thing with the same understanding. Oh, we get to him. So, somewhere like John chapter one, verse number one, where the Bible reads, "Anakimihalogas, kaihalogas, emiprasayas, kaisayas, emihalogas." In the beginning was the Word. And the word was with God, and God was the word. I'll be getting to me. So that is it. So I've translated what actually was written in Greek 
into into what into uh english obligatory so that is a version so i can and also that of uh agreement uh, and uh, or is it agreement had us okay let's say yeah okay has a way okay i'm the way and the truth and the life okay i'm the way and the truth and the, uh, and and the and the life ego kai hapater his a me i and the father are one i'm doing translations over here okay i'm doing translations over here so they are versions the, the english versions of the greek uh of, of the greek new testament are what i'm giving you right now how we get to me so version isn't something different how we get to me it doesn't put a variant reading but it is something written in different other language for you to for those that are speaking that language to be able to participate in what actually is going on that is so that is no argument well samsamun what next well what i'm going to do with the remainder of time which i only have five minutes by the way okay so that's good that's good yes you only have uh, five minutes so what next time really goes fast when you speak uh very fast. What I'm going to do with the remainder of my time is quote authentic Islamic sources to show that Muslims admit the Quran suffered corruption and is not in its pristine form. Very true. Time really goes fast. Yes, when you when you speak, it, it's very true. Uh, okay, so he says he's actually going to uh, do something, and what he's going to do with the remaining of his time is to quote authentic Islamic sources. Uh, to show that Muslims admit that the Quran suffered corruption and it's not in its uh, pristine form. Yes, it's true. Muslims do affirm that. Islamic sources do affirm that the Quran suffered corruption. You get that? So I think he's actually going to help us with a lot of information in regards to uh, what the Quran went through, okay? Because um, I think that of Abu Bakr, uh, the, the advent of Abu, Abu Bakr, uh, Zaid bin Thabit, uh, Umar, and also Hafsa, and also you, uh, what is it, Uthman and Og and Co. Abdullah ibn, uh, what is it, uh, Abdullah ibn Masood, Ubay bin Kab, Ubay bin Kar, Salim and Co. I'll be getting to him. So, and I think the seven readers as well, okay, because without them, no Muslims wouldn't have had any, any Quran today. Well, I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Well, what next? And this should be the last, and we continue in the next section. No matter what they say, memorization preserved the Quran allegedly. According to these sources, it did not. So according to Sam Shemun, no matter what they say, allegedly the Quran was preserved. But according to these uh, sources, it did not. Well, according to which sources we are yet to discover, the sources Sam Shemun is about to display in this portion of his debate with uh, Dr. Shabir Allah. Okay, so we're actually going to see uh, those sources he's trying to reference in the fifth or in the last um, section we're going to have over here. Or we get to with me. So let's put it down today and we continue some other time. Okay, I think we are actually learning a lot. There are a lot of stuff uh, over here. Uh, there are a lot of stuff in the uh, discourse of uh, some shamoon that I never I never knew how we get to him. So I think with this and if you actually follow me very well You're also going to study a lot. Okay, drop your comment under the comment section and also help with your Subscriptions help with your shares your likes and all that all we get to with me uh, Shout out to everybody shout out to everybody may God richly bless you. Mr. COD of USA uh, Mr. Peter and Mr. Obed may God richly bless you. Mr. Williams Benjamin Anafi of Missouri Institute of Black Studies, Ghana, Festus and Chroma of Abuaso, Church of Christ, too. Uh, may God richly bless you all for helping us in sharing this program. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. and Chroma, Mr. and Mrs. and Chroma, may God richly bless you for your generosity and everything. Uh, greetings to the church and also West Coast College, uh, all of Tamale, Tamale East, West, uh, North, South, Church of Christ. May God richly bless you all, Mr. Dasa, you and your daughters and your wife and everyone. May God richly bless you for helping us in sharing uh, this program. Okay, West Coast College, Church of Christ, you, uh, KSTU. Campus Church of Christ in KNUST Campus Church of Christ. Uh, may God richly bless you all for helping us and sharing this program. Tag everybody or tag all Islamic channel uh, Islamic channels. Sam Shamoon, David Wood, uh, Christian Prince, Rob Christian, and Co. Tag, tag everyone for us. Shall we meet one uh, one once again some other time? Bye bye.